All right. Classic Rock Raw. So the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominations are out. And I have to say that for once, I was okay with the list. I was okay with it. So am yeah, before I... Before you continue, Mark... Oh Warren, no, 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 no. Before, be, no, no. before you continue, and you said be quiet, and I understand, but Mark reached out to me this week. He says, please be quiet when Kiki talks about this thing you're going to be talking about. So I, I'm going to be quiet because Mark told me to. So do you want me to start again now? Yes, continue. I can't. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominations are out, and I have to say that for once I was happy with the list. I was happy with it. I was okay with it. Am I still confused as to why Foreigner is not on that list? Yes. Yes, I am. I am still confused. How about Sticks, Eddie Money, and John Waite? Right? Hello? I'm... Hi. How many How many years? We've all been talking about Lou Graham and Foreigner. Hello? I, anyway, Eddie Money, Sticks, John Waite. I'm just, just throwing it out there. Am I still confused about them not getting in? Yeah, I said that 25 times and I will keep saying it. So whoever is in charge, can you please take a listen and figure it out before more time goes by? I mean, I really, I thought 2020 and then 2021, maybe 2022, possibly. 2020, come on. We're going into 2023 now. Nominations, I can't. So getting into the list of nominees, let's begin with the artists. I don't know. Because why not start off with that? And if you know them, I apologize, I don't. On my unknown list are the White Stripes, Joy Division slash New Order. Is that like one name? I was confused by that, but I, I think so. A Tribe Called Quest. Now I've heard of Rage Against the Machine, but I really I don't I don't know their music. I'm just being honest. And on to the more mainstream list, nominees include Iron Maiden, Missy Elliott, Cindy Lauper, Warren Zevon, The Spinners, Soundgarden, George Michael. Yes. Yes, George Michael GM. Love. I love George Michael and his music. The late George Michael. I think it's great. Cheryl Crow, Willie Nelson, and Kate Bush. I mean, it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty solid list this year. I do. Now, Kate Bush was pushed back into the public eye after the Netflix series Stranger Things utilized Kate's song Running Up That Hill a lot. And the song even hit number one in the UK and number four in the US. 40 years after its original release, which is just insanity. Now, there is a lot to be said for having your song resurrected because not only is Kate nominated to be in the Rock Hall, I mean, which is pretty dang cool, she has also earned close to $4 million just from Stranger Things alone. So just by her song being utilized in that Netflix series, 4 million buckaroonies. And... She's still earning. It's just going to keep cha-chinging as time goes on. This is Kate's fourth return to the nominee list, but Missy Elliott, Cheryl Crow, and Cyndi Lauper are all first-time nominees. Cheryl recently said that she was blown away by the Rock Hall nomination, and it means a lot to her. Tonight, Cheryl, well, actually it was last night, she performed at the Music Cares event to honor Barry Gordy and Smokey Robinson as Music Cares People of the Year. And then back to George Michael, representatives from George Michael Entertainment are delighted and proud that he has been acknowledged and nominated to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for 2023. George is listed as one of the best-selling artists of all time, having sales of over 120 million records and has had seven number ones in the UK and eight on Billboard's Hot 100. Also, he has two Grammys, three Brit Awards and three American Music Awards. So does he deserve to be on this list? ab so george Lutley. Absolutely. He deserves to be on this list. I love his music and he was a little hotty. Let's just let's just face facts there. I know, but he was a hottie. I don't even need to say anything. There is no date set for the ceremony yet, and they usually have the event one year in Cleveland and one year in New York, but a little different thing going on here because John Sykes, who is chairman of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation in New York, said that the ceremony should live where the artists and music industry is, New York, LA, Nashville, and London, so I have a feeling they're going to switch it up this year i just have a feeling which is good because maybe next year we'll finally see foreigner eddie money sticks and john wade so maybe by switching it up like we we can get get our peeps 
into the rock call. But, you know, I I just don't know. I just don't get it. I really don't. And there you go. <clears throat> What's the matter? Nothing. No, I'm just reading some stuff here. Poor Sandra's been in pain, and she's going to the uh, hospital next week to get some back x-rays. Oh, boy. Yeah. She's not feeling too well. And, but uh, you I'm know. sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you're feeling better. She has a back soon. disorder, so. But, you know. But, but, but say, I'm just going to ask you one thing. And I, 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 hopefully, it's not that serious. You don't have to send us a picture of you in the hospital like, like Scott did. If you want to, you can. But, you know, I just hopefully. She can. You, she can. She wants to. You know, I think it made. I, mean, don't I think I think it made Scott feel a little bit better. But um, you know, we wish you the best of luck, and we're yeah. we're here for you. You yeah, know, that's absolutely. what what it's all about. So you're talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is mm-hmm. what you're just talking about, right? Yeah. And some people are making comments here, but I know you love George Michael. You've loved George Michael for a long time. Always. Right. Always. Is he rock? Um. All right. Let's talk about this. Missy Elliott isn't rock, but you know what? Yeah, I know that. I mean, but, but Miss- I think it's great. She's in, you know, on the nominee list. Right. I mean, it, 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 you, you, here's the you thing, know, right? I'm not, I'm not giving you a hard time, but the thing is, it's just like Lou Graham just got inducted into the metal hall. I and mean, he's not metal. No, he's he's not. But he was happy about it. Yeah, he's having to pick a book because he never gets awards for anything. And, and the whole thing is, you know what? I think just honoring Lou Graham in general, who cares what right. hall of fame it is, right. to be honest. Yeah. I, I mean... The Rock Hall really has kind of it's been disappointing. Yeah, but Let's it, and it's just been weird. But, like the like the nominees have been just yeah, but strange. The, but there's a lot of these, you know, the, 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 the rock rock industry has died yet. I mean, I understand if you go through all the artists, but there's a lot of rock, you know, artists. Don't wait till they die to honor them. I mean, honor them now while they're still alive. I agree. I, you know, I agree. I mean, it just to, to me, it's just, it's. I don't know. It's kind. It's kind. It's this, weird. You know what? Listen, what? I talk about the Rock Hall because it's a topic of conversation. Right. To be honest, these musicians, these artists, I love them for who they are. I don't really care if they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because they're great to me and right. to all of you. And it doesn't, they get recognition. Listen, right. if it's important to them to be there and it's right. a great honor to them, then I'm happy for you. Right. Really, I'm happy for you. No, I agree. However, I don't think you need to be there because look at Lou Graham is... is amazing he's amazing the fact that that man is still out there giving great shows and everybody's so happy to see him when they see him and he's great is is awesome so his need to be in the rock hall should he be yes he should be just because right just because rock and roll hall of fame hello what, what, what he was, should be there what was dolly Parton just inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame right she's not rock but look she she's got to prove for herself but now that, she's coming out with a rock album right like, so she turned but, it she, she turned it around she's so smart she's smart as hell she just whipped it around whipped it around i mean haven't heard a high hell water for for a long time and then she gets inducted into this rock and roll hall of fame then she sings new Year's Eve with with Miley Cyrus, which is freaking phenomenal. It was great, phenomenal. Yeah, but again, Dolly Parton is so classy, classy, and she's so good, so and good. she's spot on. Spot on. I mean, she's a great performer. Yep. She doesn't give you crap when she comes out. No, nope. she she is spot on. Spot on. She looks the part. She and how old is, is she part. now? How oh is, gosh, she's what 78, 77, 78. 78. She looks amazing. She looks amazing, but, but but her singing is great. And you know what? Oh I my think God. I think she's the type of person when she cannot do this anymore, she's not going to do it. No, because she's not going to give her fans less than. No, it's, I mean, and I, I I I agree with you there, and I, I I give credits and kudos to Dolly Parton for for doing what she says. Okay, I got. It's kind of weird. I it's like Lou Graham says I. I, I don't understand why I'm here, but I like it. I like what I, I, I like being awarded something. Dolly Potter received the award. It, it, I was like reaching out to you when I heard about this, and I said, "It doesn't make sense." But guess what? She's gonna prove that I'm wrong. She's she's gonna kick. She's doing all these duets with all these, including Steve Perry. I, oh my god, it's great. I kind I was ah. kind of hoping. That open arms with Dolly Parton and Steve Perry was going to be released by that's Valentine's great. Day, but I don't think that's well, whatever. 